Hi there, it's Jordan with Butte Buildouts. We're in beautiful um, rhododendron, Oregon. Um, just bringing out the prototype uh, teardrop trailer. Uh, beautiful day, so we'll give you uh, guys a little bit of a tour of um, what is going to be soon available. So up front here we got a 17 pound composite propane cylinder. These are just better than standard propane cylinders. They're going to last longer, not going to rust. Visually more attractive. Um, just behind that, got a nice ton box. And I've got a floor mat in there right now, but uh, plenty of storage for firewood, whatever you might need. Um, up front here, we got a two inch ball and coupler. All the frame material is two inch by three inch, three sixteenth tubular steel. So plenty solid for this application. Um, on the side there, there's a swing down jack right there. So it just drops down and you can uh, check behind that and lock your uh, trailer in place. It's seven pin. This one comes with uh, electric brakes as an option I put on it. Um, these are very customizable. I'm going to be offering them for not only uh, aluminum, but uh, Raptor or Linux. So you can get that just about any color. Um, work our way around to the other side. So all these units come standard with um, 28 inch Goodyear tires. It's a great um, off-roading tire. This has a 3,500 pound Timberin HD independent suspension. So you get a lot more clearance versus your traditional axle. Um, if you look underneath, you'll see the fresh water tank. It's mounted directly underneath the axle, so the weight doesn't add any tongue weight or weight to the rear of the trailer. It's a 15 gallon. Skid plates will be offered eventually. Um, right here we've got a 30, 30 amp shore power plug. Just above that we have a ZAMP solar panel plug. Um, so you can get just about any size ZAMP um, solar unit you want with one of these. And uh, if you meet me around the other side, I'll give you the uh, tour of the inside. So currently these doors are um, Challenger doors. So these are not made I do not make these doors, but eventually I will be making my own door. Um, up here, we've got uh, lighting. We've got a voice controlled rain sensor fan. Hey fan, lid open. Hello fan. I am here. Lid open. Lid open. Lid open. So, and you also have a remote and you can control Things here. This is a four speed. Um, it goes in and out, draws air in and out. And we start in the back here. See you again. Yep. <laughs> We've got a WIFCO power converter. This one is set up for lithium ion batteries, this unit. Um, so you got a DC fuse panel. If you ever have to service any of your fuses, it's nice and labeled here. It shows the fuse size. You can swap this out at any auto parts store. And then you also have your main fuse, your converter, um, main breakers, sorry, and then your outlets. So this has a, up here, has a 115 amp outlet. And the way this works is if you're plugged into shore power, you'll get 115 volts. If you're out boondocking or not plugged into shore power, you have uh, all your 12 volt power. You got 12 volt sockets here, a energy battery monitor there. It lights up, tells you your percentage of your battery, the voltage. Um, and here we've got, um, this is all walled cabinetry, got adjustable shelving, um, plenty of storage. This is all soft closing um, push latch hardware. More storage here. If you turn around, got nice adjustable reading lights. They swivel around nice. Um, once again, another USB socket. Plenty of storage up here for your laptop or phone if you need to charge it at night. Compartment storage. So this is a queen bed. So it's a five by six and a half um, sleeping area. Um, this thing is a, it's nice that it um, has the option. 
you can fold this up. <laughs> it's a little slick out here. And this is a table slash storage. So if it's raining out, or you just like sitting in here, you now have a, uh, a table. So it's a good option to have. And um, we'll work our, work our way around the side. So all these daylight, uh, trailers come standard with 14 gauge fenders. So and, uh, you know, stand on them, get up to your rooftop tent. That'll be an option. You also have roof racks, all that sort of thing. You've got nice porch lights here. And back here is your water hookups. Also offer a propane um, on-demand hot water heater. So there'll be a quick connect for that as well. So right here, this is your inlet so you just screw this onto your garden hose plug this in open your valve fill it up and then there's a um a bleeder valve that uh, allows air to you know so it uh keeps a positive pressure in the tank um and once that starts draining your uh your tank is full under here you've got a little bit of a mess but um all your all your uh, you get access to your pumps your your wiring, plumbing, all that sort of stuff. So very serviceable. And this other um, outlet here is if you want to put a garden hose on it and you're out and you need to clean the dog off or hook it up to a shower, you know, got a nice little um, extra water source there. And uh, in the very back is a two inch um, receiver. So you can put a adapter in there and fit a bike rack or a little charcoal barbecue smoker type deal whatever you can fit back there you know you can't really put a trailer behind it there's limits to that but uh it's a nice option to have and if you open up the back door here right here you have a nice deep sink and to access your water it's quite simple you have your main lighting and then you you can hear that, that is the pump pressurizing. So you have a water gauge here, this lets you know how much water your tank has. You also have another 110 volt outlet and a 12 volt USB socket as well. So this sink here, this is all adjustable, swivelable. You can put dishes here, dry vegetables whatever it's nice and easy just uh hope that you can adjust the speed this is a three gallon per minute pump so plenty of water for a shower or dishes whatever you need uh, once again more cabinet space with adjustable shelving it just sits on little pins everything's push latch so you don't have to worry about anything coming open on the road um, now we'll get to our it's an ice co 12 volt 110 volt or 240 volt uh, refrigerator system. This gets down to zero degrees. It draws about two amps an hour. So at 100 amp hours, you got two days of runtime roughly before you need to charge your lithium ion batteries. That can be done via solar or 30 amp shore power. More cabinet space here. And right here is your propane stove slash counter space. So you have more counter space and this lid just pops open like that and you turn on your burners. So it's pretty easy. And what I've done um, it's different from, from most other manufacturers is I've added edge banding to everything. That's just going to give it more protection, more finished look. And then this brushed aluminum also adds a lot of protection. Right here, more storage. And then right behind that is access to your lithium ion batteries, converter, and uh, all your electri electrical. And this is a 30 to 15 amp um, adapter. So when you're at home, you plug this in and you plug in your extension cord or plug it directly into your wall and you got a uh, power. So you don't 
You can do it on 30 amp, 15 amp, or uh, 12 volt. So that's, uh, this model is the Ranger. Um, this is prototype, so there'll, uh, there'll be more of these to come, and uh, hopefully future models, smaller and bigger, and sprinter vans, who knows what. <laughs> so, thank you.